mistakes. I guess that's his healing coping mechanism. So. Someone is texting the heck out of me and it's annoying. <laughs> so this person, uh, long story short, um, they were talking about uh, making mistakes, feeling bad for themselves. Um, I don't know why I do this to myself, but you know, I guess they don't, they don't drink out of anger and depression, which is good. They only drink to like, just time the mind out from over thinking. But I said, had you not made the mistake or had you not picked up a bottle, you probably wouldn't have ended up in this destination where you ran into me, a random stranger who had a conversation about your soul. And I've been finding that being my latest uh, conversation lately. Like, it seems that every other person that I'm meeting or talking, even for me, like when I'm going somewhere where I shouldn't be going, I know we in a pandemic. I know we in a pandemic. And it's not like I have an ego of, I have an immunity to COVID because, you know, I, I survived it. But it's more so like, I got to live my life. You know, I'm trying to find the one, you know, and I'm not going to let a pandemic fear all this crap uh, scare me from my life path of finding true love. Because I think true love uh, not only excites the melanin in your body, but it also helps produce your endorphins. And most people who are truly in love don't ever get sick. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a, like a terminable thing. But anyway, life path. So a lot of times, if you feel like, ugh, why am I here? Like, let's say you're at a party and you're just like, ugh, I don't want to be at this cocktail party. I don't like these people. They are way overdressed. They are not my type. They are bougie as hell. But then kind of look for signs of what is your soul telling you uh, as you're there? Or a conversation with somebody that's relatable that kind of validated something that you were thinking about. It just makes you go, oh, well, maybe I was supposed to be here. So therefore, like, the mistake eliminates itself. And I think that's, like, the cool thing about, you know, life paths. Uh, Y'all, I, I have a list of mistakes. A list. <laughs> Things I will not talk about. But everywhere that I've went... I've been somewhere to say something important to somebody that saved their life. Or I question something of that person and their answer or their thought process triggered, um, you know, looking it within themselves. I'm turning on my tablet. If you die better. Oh, shoot. And where's my charger? Don't, oh, it turned off again. Hold on, y'all. Hey, sis. No. Everyone loves my astrology readings, but astrology is its own reading, but um, how I interpret it I think that's what people like, so. Um, since we have a new week, I wanted to read the new chart and kind of discuss where the alignments of the planets are uh, and how they're going to affect us. Turn on. My tablet's not turning on. Okay, here it goes. Thank you, Dad, for my tablet. So while that's turning on, I brought up a story yesterday about uh, going to my friend Vince's place. 
and I took an Uber there. Some friends are worth an Uber drive. This one was like 30 bucks to get there. And so um, I get there. We're about to chat it up. He gets called to a job. Uh, his job is very easy. It's like show up, uh, uh, close an account from a client, uh, take the money to the bank, and, you know, something simple. But he was gone for two hours, and I was like, mm, what are you doing, brother? So me and his friend, uh, I won't say the person's name, but we were just kind of like, <laughs> where's Vince? And then also when two friends who don't know each other and have a mutual friend are in the same room it's kind of like you don't want to violate rules you don't want to break the rules you don't want to like anyway so my friend vince called me with some crap yesterday like how much money did he give you and i'm like he's not paying me for services he's paying me for my inconvenience it took me 30 bucks to uber there and bonquisha is not paying 30 bucks to get back home so I think his friend was just acting kind and just kind of just saying, hey, since Vince is not being aware of his actions, being kind of, you know, it's like he had a job where he got paid money from a client and couldn't give me money for an Uber drive. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Are we here yet? All right, February 14th to the 20th. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? <clears throat> All right, so... We are at the first quarter moon, which means it's split in the middle, like yin and yang. <laughs> that says enough. Um, actually, no, it says first quarter moon occurs this Friday. First quarter moon occurs when Sun and Pisces forms a square. Uh, we know Pisces is the next month after Aquarius. Forms a square with the moon in Gemini. Gemini is a sign after Pisces. So we're going to see a lot of this dualism uh, back forth. You said this. No, I didn't. He said, she said. Uh, Wishy-washy, flipping, flopping. Uh, people's minds are not made up. So that's why I don't like about quarter, first quarter moons. But then looking at this already, when it says... Um, There are some weird people adding me on Facebook. I do not know you guys. Look, if you're trying to add me on Facebook, if we don't have a mutual friend, I don't know you. I am not adding you. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Please leave me alone. Okay. Um. There is a crisis theme surrounding any quarter moon phase as we feel compelled to take action shortly. Then shortly after, we are made aware of how our action... This is just what I was saying yesterday. We are made aware of our actions that affect us, that affects close to us and those close to us. Perhaps through trial and error, whatever project or initiative began around the new moon is now off the ground. I'm going to say that one more time. Whatever project or initiative we began around the new moon is now off the ground. So meaning ideas are lifted. Yay. Um, decisions are um, ready to go to the next step. Some people are prepared to move on, get their life back in order. Um, but things off the ground, excuse me, oftentimes uh, trigger uh, obstacles. So you're coming off the ground, but then you have to go through this debris field of finding your balance. It says this could be a time of stress, clashing, discord. You should be uh, practicing discord a lot. I think everybody should be discording. 
<clears throat> so, for example, um, yeah, a lot of people assumed I was a Trump supporter. I only validated his foreign policies because a lot of people wanted to blow us up, did not blow us up because he sat at a table with them. I'm just saying. Um, but discord, that word, when I think of discord, I always think of, look, the paradigm of him not being president is not here. So therefore, I don't cater to that energy anymore. I discord myself from that. Therefore, my relationships won't be in jeopardy. Therefore, I won't have to feel like I'm walking, looking over my shoulder all the time. And also, I built the strength to tell people, who cares who I voted for? I wasn't really trying to vote for a person. I was trying to vote for a system that was less corrupt than the other. <laughs> one that it abuses the middle low class and the other one that only focuses on upper class. So I would rather be left alone and you focus on rich people over there anyways so that that's the definition of that, discord it's funny i'm doing these live streams i see nobody like watching me <laughs> so i always feel like i'm talking to myself <clears throat> um we all need to know about the <sighs> the moon degrees okay here we go Moon occurs at one degree, 21 minutes of Gemini. <clears throat> uh, that's fascinating because you have the number 21. 21 is a three, which will make a trine. So we're going to have two uh, sorry, three squares in three degrees, which will make a three, a trine square, which is rare. I'll explain. Um... Gemini, square of the sun at one degree, 21 minutes. Pisces affecting people born with personal personal planets. Huh? I was born with um, Mercury um, and Saturn. Ugh. This is such a raw video. <laughs> Wish I was more put together. Um... It also shows here that approximately zero to three degrees of mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. <clears throat> mutable signs, if you guys don't know what mutable means, it, it means that, um, hey, there is someone watching me. Hey. Uh, mutable is like, let's say you have an argument with somebody, right? You know that you're more correct than they are but then you're willing to allow them to not get stressed out and you can handle your emotions better than they can. So mutable just means like, look, I'm gonna just let them think that <laughs> they're right and I'll just leave it alone. Or, um, hey babe, what you want to eat for lunch? I don't know, pizza? And you're like, you know, a mutable sign is just an example of someone who says, uh, well, I'll go with you to the pizza restaurant, but maybe I'll get a, a, a meatball sandwich instead. So that's a, that's a mutable sign. Mutables are good because they understand, but they stand alone. And they stand alone outside the box. And that's a great attribute because they can look in and go, uh-uh, we ain't having that. <laughs> good morning. All right, so... We're done with the moon phases. Next is sun is in Aquarius. Oh, my God. Everything's in Aquarius right now. Saturn is in Aquarius. Uh, Uranus. Pluto. Mars. <laughs> this is why everything's like ah, right now. So it says the sun in Aquarius until February 18th, when the sun enters Pisces, Mercury is in Aquarius in retrograde. That is jacking us up. Venus is in Aquarius. <laughs> so that there is uh, hope for love. There's uh, a date. If someone's single, you probably be meeting or talking to someone. 
Venus in Aquarius, Mars in Taurus. What's dangerous about Mars in Taurus? Because Taurus is, is uh, several months ahead of us, right? Mars is going to be basically... It's kind of like the thing that happens in, what is that, May? So whatever you're working on now, since Venus is in Aquarius and your abundance and all that, you might hit a road bump in May because Mars is already in Taurus in the constellation. I don't think I want to read all of this. Sun in Aquarius ends on the 18th. This is about Capricorns. We become, oh God, really? We become more aware of how, I'm sorry, of what is outdated in our lives and we strive to find new perspectives. I find this in a lot of people. A lot of people are become outdated and expired, right? The class distinction structure and the order that Capricorn finds appealing now uh, seems to be too rigid, which is very true. I've been telling a lot of people who keep saying, Aaron, what are you going to do for work? Nothing. If I know that times right now are hostile, why would I want to break my back to look for something that is only going to make me go back to suffering, struggling, hustling, and surviving? And, and we already knew what I looked like under that circumstance. I got nine more weeks of unemployment. Shoot, milk it. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Sun in Pisces. That's February 18th. That'll be this Friday to March 20th. Oh, hey. Should have done this in the afternoon. Uh, this is uh, What Will Be Will Be. Hey. hey. Um, Lauren Hill saying that. Pisces rules empathy, selfless love, devotion, and wisdom. Its shadow, its shadow side rules self-pity, a feeling of being victimized by life. Okay. Um, when we see sun in Pisces, we also look at allegations in uh, mainstream media. <clears throat> We're going to see there's always some kind of scandal where somebody somebody slept with somebody and then they're going to complain about it years later after they became <laughs> famous <laughs> i don't mean to laugh that's so mean but it's just true as someone who wanted to pursue hollywood i already knew about the casting couch and i did not want to go on the casting couch nope it was funny one audition it was to be a model and this is a very popular um a fashion designer, and I won't say his name, but oof. Anyway, he told me meet him downstairs where he had a green room to do a photo shoot. <laughs> Excuse me. And I have the acid reflex, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I go downstairs, right? There's absolutely no camera, no green room. I just see a couch. It was a, a, a dark brown couch with a pink baby lotion bottle. And I was like... <laughs> uh uh nope we ain't doing that and coincidentally that was in the month of april so i'm correlating that to where what it what it's saying here sun and pisces uh attitude reigns uh feelings of being victimized um elusiveness mm -hmm. people upset things Alrighty. No one needs to really know about all this stuff. Let me just skim through it. Venus is in Aquarius. Mars is in Taurus. Jupiter is in Aquarius. Saturn entered Aquarius back in December. Saturn transits into Aquarius. You guys hear this, right? <laughs> Uranus is... <laughs> Uranus is in Taurus. That sounds so inappropriate. If you are the zodiac sign of Taurus, you're going to have a lot of situations that will be happening until March 
2025. So being aware of this, at least you know that all of your uh, situations don't initiate anything. So if someone tries, I'm talking to people who are Taurus. Because um, Uranus is going to rule Taurus uh, for four more years. <laughs> Hello, Joe Biden. <laughs> Anyways, do not let people gaslight your situations. If you feel like somebody is starting some crap, you just kind of go, all right, I'm going to go get something to eat now. You change the subject. You, you have That's your job. That is your initiative is to... Um, dodge the explosion uh, think of it as a uh, a hydrogen bomb if you snap at somebody or if you have an attitude or someone asks you for a favor find a way to say no or you don't have the time to do it you apologize anything to gently back off because anything that anybody is agreeing to do and taurus is a very destructive sign I should know because my ex-fiance was a Taurus. Ugh, I'm glad that's over. <clears throat> uh, Uranus and Taurus has a lot to do with abrupt changes of money, valuables, possessions, income, uh, reshuffling through your priorities, freaking out, um, non-traditional sources of income. <laughs> Uh, progressive ideas, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to talk about romance. We need to talk about romance. Uh, Venus and Aquarius. That is a good match. Air, uh, Aquarius is an air sign. Venus is love. So love is in the air. I actually had a Valentine date. It was coming into town today. Anyways. On accident, I actually have three dates. I didn't mean to. It's just that in, uh, in the same day, they all were like, hey, I want to get to know you. I'm like, what do I do? Well, until I kind of hang out each one. It's nice to have options. Uh, Venus, semi-square Chiron, which is... Uh, Chiron is a moon. It's another. It's a smaller moon, but it's a moon of Jupiter, I believe. <clears throat> Venus square bars, that's going to be uh, fighting for your uh, your marriage, fighting for your relationships, breaking up, making up. Or, you know, before you date somebody and you say something stupid and they ignore you for it, they turn you off or they block you. Uh, so there'll be a repairing of relationships. Um, I know that two, two friends of mine, they're fighting. Uh, this shows me that they'll make up. I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Venus, contra parallel, Uranus. So when we say contra parallel, um, here's Venus. Contra parallel, Uranus would be here. It'll be right below. So contra would be the contralateral is this way. Contra parallel would be this way. Um. That's fascinating. It could also mean that um, arguments and relationships, fights and uh, disputing over things, making decisions. Uh, we can't afford this home. Uh, we need to downsize. No. Find another job. Let's keep it. You know, so it'd be that kind of a situation. Uh, Venus X Tau Uranus. Already kind of talk about this fear taking risks. I'm yawning again. I didn't sleep a lot. Um, being ready to experiment, yet not necessarily ready to commit to it. Because a lot of people have ideas, but they don't commit to it. Or some people contemplate an idea of something, and they don't follow through. And then five, six years go by, and you haven't even started your product. I don't want to talk about the void moon. I'm almost done here. The moon this week symbolizes new beginnings. Um, I think that's pretty much it. 
Yeah. Yay, that's the that's a long report. That was long and not that entertaining, was it? <laughs> um, for those of you who feel like uh, you're being bombarded, let's say like for me, uh, I don't mind people communicating with me. Like I don't have a problem with it. I just have too many people communicating with me at one time. So I get I tend to get overwhelmed with crossing dialogue because uh, I do have a mental condition where uh, my mind is here, but then this new thing comes around and I forget about this. So over time, I'm developing short-term memory loss. It's part of um, uh, being obsessive compulsive because the, the mind's making a cycle to remember. Um, where am I going with this? I have a rose quartz and a rose quartz is symbolic of focus. Uh, a lot of times if I am having anxiety or stress or falling asleep right right now, uh, this allows me to bring everything down to center. So if you guys don't have a rose quartz, get a rose quartz. Uh, when people are constantly communicating with me all at one time, I do feel like I have a responsibility to respond because a lot of people, a lot of things people are sharing are different things going on around the world. I think people just feel like I'm the ambassador of conspiracy <laughs> theories. Um, but no, I think a lot of people trust uh, what I've been saying and people need the confidence from someone. And I appreciate that people can go to me to share things. So I always keep a rose quartz near me. Because there's just too many people with a lot of different stuff coming at me. Yep, so that's it. I will do these later on today because I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. And good night. I'm going to sleep.